A city submerged. Vienna's record rainfall. Vienna, the elegant Austrian capital known for its imperial palaces and vibrant cultural scene, has always been a city that marries history with modernity. Its grand architecture and rich cultural heritage attract millions of visitors each year. However, recently, this beautiful city faced an unprecedented natural disaster that left its residents and visitors in shock. On August 17, 2024, torrential rainfall battered the city, transforming streets into rivers and overwhelming its drainage systems. The rain was relentless, pouring down with an intensity that Vienna had not seen in over a century. This record-breaking downpour, the highest in over a century, left a trail of destruction and disruption. Buildings were damaged, streets were flooded, and the daily lives of the people were thrown into chaos. It served as a stark reminder of the increasing frequency and intensity of extreme weather events in a changing climate. What began as a typical summer day quickly escalated into a meteorological emergency. The skies, which were clear and sunny in the morning, darkened ominously by the afternoon. As the skies darkened and thunder rumbled, an unrelenting deluge descended upon Vienna. The rain came down in sheets, accompanied by fierce winds and lightning. The city, typically accustomed to mild showers, found itself grappling with an unprecedented volume of rainfall in a short span of time. The infrastructure, designed for more moderate weather, struggled to cope with the sudden onslaught. The relentless downpour caught many off guard. People who were out enjoying the day were suddenly running for cover, trying to escape the torrential rain. Locals and tourists alike were forced to seek shelter as the water level rose rapidly, turning familiar streets into treacherous waterways. Shops and cafes quickly filled with people seeking refuge from the storm. The usually serene Danube River, a defining feature of Vienna's landscape, swelled to a menacing level, threatening to breach its banks and inundate low-lying areas. The river, which is normally a source of beauty and tranquility, became a source of fear and danger. The normally bustling city, known for its leisurely pace of life, was brought to a standstill. Public transportation was halted, businesses were closed, and the streets were eerily empty, disrupted by the sheer force of nature. This extraordinary rainfall event, etched in the city's history, has left an indelible mark on Vienna's collective memory. It has sparked conversations about climate change and the need for better preparedness for such extreme weather events in the future. The resilience of the Viennese people, however, shines through as they come together to rebuild and recover from this unprecedented disaster. Deluge in the Danube city. Quantifying the downpour. The city of Vienna, known for its historical charm and architectural beauty, found itself under an unprecedented weather event. The rainfall that lashed Vienna was not merely a heavy shower, it was a meteorological anomaly. The skies opened up with a ferocity rarely seen, turning a typical rainy day into a significant weather event. Official figures revealed a staggering amount of precipitation within a short period, exceeding any previous records for the month of August. The data was clear. Vienna was experiencing a deluge of historic proportions. The city's central meteorological station recorded over insert specific rainfall amount, e.g. 100 millimeters of rain in just a few hours, surpassing the previous high for the entire month of August, which stood at insert previous record. This was not just a record-breaking event. It was a wake-up call for the city's infrastructure. This volume of rainfall is equivalent to provide a relatable comparison, e.g. several weeks worth of rain, falling in a fraction of the time, overwhelming the city's drainage systems and causing widespread flooding. The sheer volume of water was more than the city could handle, leading to immediate and severe consequences. The intensity of the downpour was equally alarming. It wasn't just the amount of rain, but the speed at which it fell that created such chaos. At its peak, the rain fell at a rate of insert rainfall rate, e.g. 50 millimetres per hour, exceeding the capacity of storm drains and sewers to handle the runoff. The infrastructure designed for typical weather patterns was no match for this deluge. This rapid accumulation of water turned streets into raging torrents, inundating basements, businesses and homes. 
The force of the water was powerful enough to sweep away cars and debris, creating hazardous conditions. The sudden surge of water caught many residents off guard, leaving them stranded in their homes and businesses. Emergency services were stretched thin, responding to countless calls for help as the city grappled with the immediate aftermath of the storm. Rescue operations were launched swiftly, with emergency personnel working tirelessly to reach those in need. Boats navigated the flooded streets, and community shelters were set up to provide temporary refuge for those displaced by the floodwaters. As the rain subsided, the true extent of the damage became apparent. Homes and businesses were left waterlogged, and the cleanup efforts began in earnest. The city faced a long road to recovery, but the resilience of its residents shone through as they came together to rebuild and support one another. Vienna's infrastructure under strain, the immediate impact. The deluge had an immediate and crippling impact on Vienna's infrastructure. The city's intricate network of roads, tunnels, and public transportation systems were overwhelmed by the sheer volume of water. Underpasses, particularly vulnerable to flash flooding, quickly transformed into treacherous waterways, trapping vehicles and disrupting traffic flow. The usually efficient public transportation system, the lifeblood of Vienna, ground to a halt as subway lines were flooded and tram services suspended. The iconic Danube River, which snakes its way through the heart of Vienna, swelled to a threatening level, prompting concerns of flooding in low-lying areas. The rising waters tested the city's flood defences, with authorities closely monitoring the situation and preparing for potential evacuations. Parks and green spaces, usually havens for recreation, were transformed into temporary lakes, their benches and pathways submerged under several feet of water. Section 4. Trapped in the Torrent. Dramatic rescues and service disruptions. The torrential downpour led to numerous dramatic incidents across Vienna. One such incident involved a car trapped in a flooded underpass near the Franz Josef Bahnhof, a major railway station. The vehicle, with its occupants trapped inside, was quickly overtaken by the rising floodwaters, leaving them stranded and in need of urgent rescue. Emergency services responded swiftly, braving the treacherous conditions to reach the submerged vehicle and extricate the terrified passengers. This incident, widely circulated on social media, highlighted the real and imminent danger posed by the flash floods. The heavy rainfall also severely disrupted public transportation. The S45 train service, a vital commuter line connecting the city centre to its southern suburbs, experienced significant delays and cancellations due to flooded tracks. The disruption left hundreds of commuters stranded, forcing them to seek alternative routes home during the peak evening rush hour. Section 5. A City on High Alert. The Response of Vienna's Emergency Services. As the scale of the disaster unfolded, Vienna's emergency services were mobilized on an unprecedented scale. The city, known for its efficient public services, faced one of its greatest challenges as the floodwaters rose rapidly, threatening lives and property. Firefighters, equipped with boats and specialized rescue gear, responded to hundreds of calls for help, rescuing people trapped in flooded homes, vehicles, and underpasses. Their swift actions were crucial in preventing further loss of life and mitigating the impact of the disaster. Their tireless efforts, often carried out in challenging and dangerous conditions, were instrumental in ensuring the safety of Vienna's residents. Working around the clock, these brave individuals faced not only the physical dangers of the floodwaters, but also the emotional toll of the crisis. The city's emergency medical services were also on high alert, treating those injured in flood-related accidents and providing assistance to vulnerable residents affected by the disaster. Medical teams set up temporary clinics and safe zones to offer immediate care and support to those in need. The Vienna City Council activated its emergency response plan, coordinating relief efforts and disseminating crucial information to the public. 
Officials worked tirelessly to ensure that resources were allocated efficiently and that all necessary measures were taken to protect the city's inhabitants. Citizens were advised to stay indoors, avoid unnecessary travel, and take precautions to protect themselves and their property from the floods. Public service announcements were broadcasted regularly, urging people to remain vigilant and follow safety guidelines. Social media platforms played a vital role in disseminating real-time updates, with residents sharing information about road closures, flooded areas, and available resources. This digital communication network became a lifeline for many, providing crucial updates and fostering a sense of community solidarity. The coordinated response from Vienna's authorities and the resilience of its citizens were commendable. However, the event exposed vulnerabilities in the city's preparedness for such extreme weather events. Moving forward, it is essential for Vienna to reassess and strengthen its emergency protocols to better handle future crises, ensuring the safety and well-being of all its residents.